Hi, kids. Okay. Number 24, greatest films of all time, Man with a Movie Camera. Uh, from 1929, this is a Soviet silent documentary uh, directed by Ziga, Ziga Vertov. Uh, cinematography by Mikhail Kaufman. Mikhail Kaufman is Ziga's brother. Um, Ziga Ziga Za, that's what the Spice Girls were singing about, right? They're talking about Ziga Vertov. Big fans, Spice Girls, of Man with a Movie Camera. Not true. Okay, so, well, maybe true. I don't know. Uh, so, Zika was born David Kaufman. Uh, David and Mikhail have another brother who has come up on this list before. That is Boris Kaufman, a uh, cinematographer for Le Lant, 12 Angry Men, many other films. Um, so, uh, the two Kaufman brothers, or Vertov and Kaufman, and Ziga's wife, um, uh, Liza Zita, uh, what is her name? Golova? The Soviet name. Soviet name. Uh, the three of them were part of a Kino Eyes movement. Uh, so that is a movement that was kind of of the idea that uh, film, cinema was too reliant on other forms, uh, too reliant on theater and plays and novels and books and not um, its own entity enough, um, not being its own form. So uh, as this film is advertised, when it starts, um, they believe in like no intertitles, no scenarios, no theater, no actors, no sets. Um, they believed that uh, film could capture reality, capture a moment in the way that those other forms of art could not, and it should be uh, capturing reality in ways that those were not. Uh, they were not a fan of um, Sergei Eisenstein and um, uh, Battleship Potkman in the way that um, he uh, misused reality. He kind of contrived a story instead of actually capturing reality. Um, so this is what they attempt to do with man with a movie camera, uh, multiple exposure, um, fast motion, stop motion, slow motion, jump cuts, match cuts, freeze frames, split screen, Dutch angles, extreme close-ups, tracking shots, double exposure. Those aren't just a list of things that you can do with film. That's a list of things that they do with film in this film, 1929. So really uh, experimenting with the form, with what you can do. Embracing film as film, which you could say is anti-reality, maybe. Anyways. Um, so it was filmed over the course of three years, released, and... Uh, not a great reception. People just thought, well, yeah, you're just playing around with a camera. Cool. Um, of course, later, it embraced more and more and more. That is why it's number 24 on this list. Uh, BFI, Sight and Sound, 2012 poll. It was number eight on the critics list, number 48 on the director's list. And then 2022, it was number nine on the critics list. I dropped from eight to nine, man. Uh, and number 30 on the director's list, and then according to critic reviews on the site Metacritic, it has the 46th best reviewed film of all time. Number 24 on this list. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.